Hey there, I'm Charlotte from Range, and I'm super excited to give you a quick demo of the Range product. So as you may already know, Range is all about empowering teams with communication tools built for today's work. So no matter where your team's located, we're here to help you run async check-ins, collaborate better during meetings, and feel more connected as people, not just employees. Let's dive in. So many teams start their Range experience with check-ins. Check-ins are like stand-ups or status updates that your team shares every day or every few days. So our team is distributed across the US. We all start our days at different times and we use check-ins to share simple updates and have a moment of connection asynchronously without interrupting our day. Let's see what that looks like. Check-ins are structured to first update your team on how you're feeling, green, yellow, or red. Green means I'm good to go. Yellow might mean I'm tired or not feeling 100%. And I usually reserve red for rough days when I'm really not feeling great. Emojis can also help out a little bit more insight into how you're doing. So today I might choose the nerdy face emoji. I'm feeling green, excited to start my work day. Next, I go into planning my day and sharing what happened since the last time I checked in. One of the real values of Range is that we integrate with all the work apps your team uses. So as I'm writing up my plan, I can easily pull in calendar items, email drafts, tasks from Asana or Jira, docs from Google Drive, and lots more. This makes it really easy to add work to your check-in without having to open up lots of different tools and tabs. Plus, you only have to share a check-in once. So instead of writing multiple status updates on different projects, you can publish a single check-in in just a few minutes. If you want to, within any given check-in, you can use tags and flags to categorize information for your team. So as an example, you can flag that you're blocked on something. And in the same check-in, you might use the feedback flag to request a review on a document. Tags work like hashtags in social media, so you can use them to associate work items with a specific project or even a broader team goal, like launches. Tagged and flagged items will surface for your team in range, and they'll also pop up in Slack if you have your workspace connected, so it's super easy for everyone to stay informed. The last part of the check-in is a team building question. So these questions tend to be lighthearted and fun, and they're a great way to connect with teammates, especially the ones you might not be working with closely day to day. You can use image attachments if you want to add a little more personality to your answer here or anywhere else in your check-in. Uh, so for example, maybe I would share a photo of me walking my dogs over the weekend to, to share what happened over the weekend. When you publish your check-in, your whole team can read through it in Range or Slack and react with comments and emojis. So whether you're a team member or a team manager, check-ins help you really get to know your teammates, get a sense for what they're working on, and make sure everyone has the help they need to move work forward. The next major area that Range helps teams with, whether you're remote or hybrid or in-person, is improving day-to-day -day meetings. So while check-ins are really great at taking a bunch of your async information and helping reduce overall meeting load, the meeting tool in Range helps improve the meetings that you do have. So our team uses Range to facilitate all our recurring team meetings. Um, as an example, let's check out our editorial team meeting to see how easy it is to run a meeting with Range. First off, you can see who's attending the meeting, and you can even mark people as absent if you need to. Um, on the right-hand side, you'll see a list of recurring topics that we cover every time we run this meeting. So maybe your team currently uses a Google Doc or a Confluence Doc to run, run through a recurring agenda. Um, but with Range, we have some extra tools to help make meeting facilitation way easier, increase engagement, and hold folks accountable so the meeting actually achieves its intended, intended purpose. Uh, as I go through the meeting agenda, the spinner tool is a super simple way to drive engagement. So here it is. You can choose who's going to speak first in the meeting or who's going to speak on a specific topic. This really helps reduce the awkwardness of figuring out who's going to talk next. You can easily make meetings even more interactive by encouraging everyone to add topics to the agenda after you've made it through the recurring topics. So maybe I want to talk to my team about a blog post idea. I can add that as a topic. Um, I can also document any action items or notes in one click as I'm going through the meeting. So here's an example. Maybe I want to share the demo video. And any notes I take will be shared automatically to the meeting participants, as well as folks who may not have made it to the meeting. So a lot of the value here is around keeping meetings effortless, engaging, and on track, while also keeping everyone informed, even people who may not be able to attend the meeting. Hope you enjoyed this quick overview of Range. There's still so much to explore, so check us out at range.co.